I'm here with my Aunt Karen. Say hi, Kiki. Hi. <laughs> She was kind enough to sit down and let me do her makeup. She's never had her makeup done before, ever, which is crazy because she's the one who got me into makeup and told me about the YouTube space and everything and probably the reason why I'm like a makeup artist now and why I love doing it so much. So thank you, Aunt Karen. Thank you. <laughs> you know, she goes to Las Vegas a lot on vacation and she pretty much does the same kind of makeup every day but she has so much makeup to play with because she loves it too but she kind of does the same thing every day so she wanted something different something a little bit more glam that's you know wearable but maybe not every day so it's a little bit more of a nighttime look and we did some fun like purples and peaches almost the way it looks the um, colors I think it's really pretty on her so, you know she's got hooded eyes Mature skin, very, I'm old. I'm old. no, but she has dry skin and so, you know, we wanted to make sure we weren't packing on the powder or anything like that, so just keep that in mind, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video with my amazing aunt, Karen, so let us know what you think of the video down below in the comments. Bye! Bye. So to start off, I am priming Aunt Karen's face with some Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. And this is a pore smoother, so it definitely smooths the appearance of fine lines and pores. I really like this. This is just a sample and it's the first time that I've tried it out. But I was really impressed. I'd be interested to see how it works on my skin as well because it really, really covered up her main pores that are on her T-zone area. Next, I am going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear BB Glow in shade 2.0, and I am just smoothing this all over her skin. She has beautiful skin, as you can tell, um, and she has very, very, very dry skin, so we just wanted to go with something pretty light coverage, not heavy, and luminous. Now I'm using the Perfectionist Youth Infusing Brightening Serum and Concealer, also from Estee Lauder, and using the concealer side to um, cover those dark circles under my aunt's eyes, which she doesn't really have. She thinks she has them, but I just put a tiny, tiny bit under there, and then I'm using the serum just on the outside corners of her eyes. This is actually a skincare product as well. It's got one of Estee Lauder's most popular serums called CPR in it, and it is a wrinkle filler, and it lifts and firms. It also has some luminosity, some shimmer. It's really beautiful on mature skin. I really love it, and I'm just tapping that in with a dome brush. Now I'm using my Be A Bombshell Cosmetic Smooth Criminal Powder to set her under eyes because that is a creamy concealer that I put under there and it definitely needs to be set, but I'm using the absolute minimum. And then I'm using this NYX HD Studio Photogenic High Definition <laughs> Finishing Powder. And then I'm just placing this on her T-zone because like I said, her skin is extremely dry. And then I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade medium and just priming her eyelids with this and blending it all in. I find that this is one of my favorite eyelid primers. Now I'm just setting that with a little bit of powder to lock it all into place. Alright, now I'm going into this Bizart 01 Neutral Matte Palette and I am using this for a shade just to go into her crease to find that a little bit. So I'm having her close her eyes and I'm making sure that I get right up in the brow bone. Since my Aunt Karen has hooded eyes, it's really important to bring the color up a little bit higher than maybe someone who doesn't have hooded eyes who doesn't have to worry about losing that color when they open their eyes. Now I'm using the Visart 05 Sultry Muse palette and dipping into this, it's like a champagne pinky gold color and putting this all over the lid with a flat shader brush. And I am bringing this pretty high up there to the brow bone where I already put that crease color. I'm making sure to lift her eyelids to get right down to the base of the lash line so I don't miss any spots and it's nice and smooth. I'm going into a slightly darker shade, it's maybe a little bit more orangey, and I'm placing that on the outer corners of the eye, so about halfway in the center of the eye to the outside. And again, just pressing that on with a flat shader brush. This just gives a little bit more definition and depth to the eyes. I'm just going back in and blending that with her eyes open. That makes me um, be able to see her brow bone. It's a little bit less messy as an artist. Um, it's just a good trick to have their eyes open sometimes when you're blending. It just keeps it 
in control. Now I'm going into this shimmery red toned shadow and I am just wiggling this right at the lash line. Uh, I just wanted to give a little bit of shadow there. Even though it's a shimmer, it's still reflective, but I just really liked um, the depth that it gave the look. So just pressing that into the lash line. And then again, blending everything out, making sure it's nice and smooth. Now I'm just brushing away any fallout that I might have and uh, it was no problem. So now I'm going into this dark chocolatey color in the matte palette and just placing this on the very outer corners of my Aunt Karen's eyes with a big fluffy brush and again having her sort of keep her eyes open and close just whatever uh, was easiest for me. So I started with her eyes open and then I let her close her eyes and that let me see my placement of the shadow better. And now I'm going into this more gold toned shimmer and placing that on the lower lash line. I really like putting lighter colors underneath the lash line sometimes just because it's still reflective and it doesn't sink the eyes in. It lights them up even more and I'm bringing this all the way to the inner corner. And then I'm going back into that dark chocolate brown matte color and just placing that on the very, very, very outer corner of her lower lash line. Now with this black color in the matte palette, I am using a tiny little angled liner brush and pressing that into the lashes, making the smallest and finest line that I possibly can. I just want to make her lashes look a little bit thicker and fuller, and I did not want to do a crazy wing on her or anything. Now I'm using this Maybelline Lash Discovery Mini Brush <laughs> Waterproof Mascara which my Aunt Karen swears by and it's the only thing that holds a curl for her lashes. So I'm using this on her and just making sure I wiggle it into the base of the lashes and then I'm going over top of that with my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara to give them a little bit more volume and to make them stand out a little bit more. And then again I'm going in with the Maybelline Mascara on the lower lashes just to get in there on those tiny, tiny little lashes. Um, my Aunt Karen has actually beautiful lower lashes, so she doesn't really need it. But now I'm using my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette and just following my Aunt Karen's natural eyebrow shape. Uh, she has beautiful arches, so it didn't really take much. They're just a little bit thin and sparse, so I was just mainly focusing on adding a little bit of fullness to her brows, but keeping the natural shape. I'm just making sure to continuously brush through with the spoolie to keep them looking natural. Now I'm using my Estee Lauder brush on Beauty Glow highlighting pen and I'm putting this around and on her nose where she gets the most redness. And normally you could put a actual concealer on someone but because my Aunt Karen's skin is so, so dry, I went with the lightest and most hydrating formula that I had and I think it actually worked beautifully on her and then setting it again with a little bit of powder just to make sure it stays in place. Now for a light contour, I'm going into my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and using the warm shade in the center and doing a very, very, very light contour, but it looks really beautiful on her, I think. A little bit goes a long way. I'm just going along the jawline, underneath the cheekbone, and around the forehead. And then I also wanted to contour her nose. She does this every day, so I focus mainly on the tip of her nose, and then I just make sure to blend up towards the eyes. And I spend a little bit of time here, but um, I think this makes a really big difference. Now I'm using this NARS blush in the color Deep Throat. Since Aunt Karen's eyes are already shimmery with some metallic shadows, I wanted to keep the blush pretty toned down, but this does have some reflection in it, so I thought it made her skin look really beautiful and glowy. Now I'm using this Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Pencil and this is in the shade 3C and just following her natural lip line. This is like her exact lip color and um, I just did the outline, I didn't fill them in. And then lastly, I'm finishing off with some gloss. This is Buxom in the shade Sophia and this just makes her lips look nice and full. And then I am spraying some MAC Fix Plus on her just to rehydrate her skin and meld any sort of powder back into a skin-like texture. That's everything, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yay, you did it! That's it.